Hey guys, so I just wanted to do a quick little performance test with the uh, the bloater ROM for the Galaxy S7 uh, that we do have installed. This is Crix OS and uh, promised to get rid of some of the uh, bloat that TouchWiz brings. I wanted to compare it against my S7 Edge. Uh, running uh, stock TouchWiz all up to date and with the same Exynos processor so uh, we can just start them both up at the same time here see if there's any difference in terms of the boot up uh, you can see with the ROM you do get some more options here which is quite nice like you can go straight into the recovery and I don't think you get much of a startup like with typical ROMs. It looks very stock still. Wow, so you can see there's a massive difference when it comes to the boot up, which is pretty cool, pretty good. And a little bit slower there for the edge. Uh, so we have shut down everything as you can see, and we can just open up some apps here. Nice and quick and I don't think we're on the network with the this one so I think uh, I might need to put this in again mm, let's get that in very nice so let's uh, just go off some of these apps here you can see both have the uh, edge functionality now which is pretty cool as well and so far I don't see that massive uh, a difference to be honest both of them seem to be pretty similar maybe uh, no there's no difference there Probably a little bit quicker on the messaging for the S7 standard and for the camera. And also Play Store. Uh, so we get this weird upgrading thing. So I should get rid of that. Sometimes that happens and you don't even know why it's happening we can see it's very uh, stable looking you know no crashes as of yet and uh, very smooth running so let's uh, try settings quicker here for the settings so maybe it's a tad faster for a, a few things but uh, again, you know, not the massive difference I was expecting, really. You can see uh, quite good optimization with the S7 Edge. Uh, just have a look at the web browsing. So we'll just search for a big website like Daily Mail. Aha, uh -huh. so it looks like uh, I think the edge was quicker there loading the this one. So let's go to somewhere. Uh, this one. Exactly the same. Maybe this has finished loading faster. GSM Wow So that was the same as well. I think we're getting a new 6p on the horizon as well uh, Hopefully they'll make it in a smaller version and a bigger version then everyone will be happy uh, I definitely think the market is crying out for that uh, So one more so the edge here 
seems to be a little bit faster with this one so not a massive speed boost it seems with the the web browsing those of you on stock you know to turn your nose up at ROMs will be very happy there uh, we can just finally have a look at the multitasking as well just make sure everything is as, as it should be because these two have fantastic multi multitasking out of the box and we don't want this to be messed up again so you can see it is uh, very nice on both of them oh no so I reload there just as I was opening my gob you can see did I just go into that twice? I don't know. Seem to reload twice though. Uh, camera, just a little bit faster pop up here. And oh, didn't get that one. Let's go back again. And we do have the messaging. So, you know, I think uh, really, if you ask me, you may maybe you're better off sticking with the the stock stuff here. You know, maybe it's not a huge difference as you may have expected with a debloat ROM. Uh, but you do get some more options, obviously. You know, in terms of like, for example, rebooting the device. And for those of you who are stuck with the Galaxy S7 and do want like the edge screen that is another motivation to you know do a custom ROM here so that uh, you know is pretty good that you do get that but if you do have like a new uh, S7 at the end of the day I don't think there's anything really wrong with the device maybe some people who are having slowdowns uh, you know maybe they just fill in their phone full of bad apps and things like that uh, but uh, yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, found it helpful, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.